everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a very quick look at Tiger Force Duke from 1988. Uh, this is the first Tiger Force figure that I've gotten as an adult collector. I did have this figure as a kid, uh, and I got this figure because I wanted a Duke action figure. My original Duke figure uh, was long gone by 1988. It had been lost or broken or something. Uh, so I really wanted a replacement Duke. So with these Tiger Force figures, they started reissuing older action figures, but with different colors. And so um, I was very happy to get a Duke action figure, uh, even though he looked a bit different. He had some stripy pants and a green shirt. Um, that's fine. I didn't mind that. One thing that I always found kind of odd about this figure, though, is the hair color change. Uh, original Duke was blonde and reissue Duke with Tiger Force. For some reason his hair is brown. Uh, and I do prefer the original color uh, quite a bit over the change. Now this one I have a full back card, not just a file card. Reason I wanted to get the full back card on this is when I review it I want to show uh, the back and show how the Tiger Force figures that were introduced that year had this special little uh, partition here on the cross cell on the back and I find that very interesting. Uh, there is the file card for Tiger Force Duke here and this is different from his file card that he originally came with. But we will talk about all of that as well as compare this figure to earlier versions of Duke when I do the full review but that's just a really quick look at it for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, take uh, Keep an eye on this channel for more uh, full G.I. Joe toy reviews coming up and I will see you later.